what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to the channel i'm so ricky if you do not know me as you guys can see by the title of today's video we're gonna be listening to quadeca's album called scrapyard and it's actually kind of like relatively new um i think it dropped about a month ago so um yeah i've been recommending this album quite a few times by multiple of you guys and by one of my friends on ig i've heard an abundance of good things about this album like really good things i heard it gets pretty um pretty deep i don't know if i say deep i heard it gets pretty like down to the the nitty gritty you know what i'm saying so um i haven't listened to a single quadeca song i don't think since like the ksi dax um like this track era of youtube bro if i can make a time machine and go back and get footage of myself listening to quadeca's diss track on ksi bro y'all would think like y'all would think i had just like won an award like i had just been elected for president bro the way i was celebrating me saying that he cooked would be a complete understatement bro like that diss track oh my gosh that was literally the diss track of youtube diss tracks bro like insecure bro insecure insecure you're insecure you're insecure like he even sang to us bro are you serious yeah, i'm excited to hear what this album has to entail um like i said before i've heard a lot of his new stuff is actually really good and he have really has made some like great progress um so so yeah without further ado let's get straight into it all right you guys his first song is called dust cutter I don't even know if he's gonna like me rapping or singing, but I'm ready, bro. Everybody, no. Yeah. Everybody, but yeah. I got you, bro. Oh my God, it's the bass. Wasn't true. Everybody but you, everybody no. Everybody but you, everybody no. Everybody but you. Intro just touched my heart, bro. All right, off to a good start, bro. Second song, a la carte. Oh, this flow is hard. What do you say? What do you say? My favorite poem was the one I read to you from teleprompter on the tongue of my shoe. My flashbacks are a touch more resolute of my suit. Ah. Oh. I look hurt. Take it off, just don't take it off to heart. They go eternal life, so they got it. And what I never knew, I'd rather be inside my head than you. How many times will I cry count? Because it gets so deep, it goes so deep, I'll never put it. Oh, relatable. 
table. If you take it, I look car. Take it off, just don't take it on to heart. They go and turn the lights off. Thank you, God. Took yourself. Yes, I got my jaw kicked. Now I'm a cotton mouth. Why do I feel so unsafe? What am I worried about? Cause I didn't sleep in any proof. Skip the whole season like it's pay per view. Mmm. It ain't you. I'm just caught up. This production is so blissful, bro. Oh my God. Was the one I read to you. I wanna talk about you. Resolute. If you take it out of the car, take it all, don't take it, bro. Take it all, bro. Just take it all. Just don't take it all to heart. <laughs> take it all, just don't take, take it all to heart. Oh, 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 y'all were lying. Bro, both of them just snapped, bro. Quadaka and the Breakins, dude. I think that was his name, Breakins. Oh my gosh. Oh, bro, we only two songs in, bro. I, I can't get that geeked yet. I can't get that geeked yet. Oh my gosh, bro, I love that one. Third song is called Pretty Privilege. I did my hair with a twist just for you. Just for you. Oh my god. 
please, bro, the phone was, I can't take, I can't, I, I, I can't. what from the heart lyricism songwriting singing just just sounds like bro looks like sounds like feels like oh my gosh i feel like listening to this like i'm really getting to know quadeca like i feel like i feel like i'm connecting with him like i feel like i'm oh my gosh bro i don't even know how to explain it track four is called easier I'm still thinking about the outro on that last song, bro. I want you cause spinning bro i'm gonna cry like i'm 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 gonna like bro i'm i'm like i i i gotta pause it because if i don't pause it bro i will burst out like actually like my face bro it will look like i just walked through the rain bro oh my gosh bro he's actually spinning listening to this right now i don't think there's ever another time in my life that i would have felt more like related connected to what he's talking about than right now like this is crazy that i'm listening to this at this time because bro the what he's explaining right now i don't know if i'm really in love with you i think it's just a thought of you this literally feels like my thoughts put into song form bro oh my gosh like the thought of you isn't enough i want to be with you but i don't know if i'm in love with you i i just like the thought of you being by my side like that's how I, that's how i feel bro that's how i feel about this person and this person is like I don't even really like I don't even really talk to this person. It's just like it's like I talk to them but it's not like on like a daily basis even though I see them pretty much every day like in school. It's like even when we do talk, it's just literally a couple sentences back and forth or just saying what's up, you know, and we barely even do that. I recently like thought about it a lot and I've come to terms with like I don't think me and this person are ever going to become the thought of what I wanted us to be like. I've accepted that like it's just not there's not enough there and the thing is like it's my last year of high school senior year and like as much as I want to build a relationship with this person like you know even just like a stronger friendship um than the like small one we already have it's just like I don't know I feel like I should have I feel like I should have acted a lot more sooner and i'm not gonna lie i do regret not doing it and i don't want to hold that regret so it was it just came to a point where it was like okay either you're going to do this either you're going to pursue this person or you're not going to and you're just gonna go on about yourself right go on about your life because you can't just spend every waking minute second of your life just thinking just thinking of that person like you can't you can't do that because 
if you're not doing anything about it then what are you doing and i'm still kind of coming to terms with it i don't think i've a hundred percent like really accept accepted it yet um but i think i'm better off now than i was when i was on the fence about you know pursuing this person i just feel like okay i shouldn't be as worried about them anymore like we're not close it doesn't seem like they really care about getting closer to me and i don't really i don't really think it's time to get closer to them and you know at first it did hurt i'm not gonna lie it hurt like hell but like i don't know it's just like what can you do and i just went off on a super long tangent in the middle of a song bro i'm sorry y'all i just oh my gosh i just realized i literally just paused and chatted in the middle of the song i'm so sorry you guys bro i did not mean to i did not mean to just go off on a whole life story like that bro you said it would be okay Oh, this is the song, bro. This is the song. This is the song. <laughs> this is the song. <laughs> Oh I Oh this is the realest piece of art I have ever outro bro bro this song might as well had been called solo ricky bro oh my gosh i think i want you because you're easy and easy is better than just having nobody this bro i was busy doing everything in my strength not to acknowledge you i've been speeding low the way i was low this the one bro i'm not gonna lie easier is the one. Oh my gosh bro this is this album, bro. 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 bro. Archie, guys. Next song is called "Even If I Tried." Bro, he, his flows and in, in these beats, bro. Oh my god. They're just. They're so good together, bro. It's like yin and yang. You would know who it is. Even if I lied, you know who it is. 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 Where am I? 
Bro, what setting am I in, bro? What is? I don't know what I was expecting going into this, bro. It would have been nowhere near this. Nowhere. Bro, Quadeca, bro. What? He was spending time writing his heart out. What? What do I even say? Like, next song is What's It To Him. It's a light in a room with a multicolor ceiling. It's a white on the shoes with the multicolor cushion. It's a slight bit of truth with the multicolor meaning. I'm telling you guys, bro, lyricism is just a no doubt 10. Ever since track one started, bro, the, the lyricism has just, it's just been up here, bro. And it's just, it just keeps going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, bro. It's just, it's never ending, bro. It's, it's, it's just, oh my gosh, bro. Each time I'm just more like in shock that we just keep leveling up. Like we just keep getting getting better and better bro it's crazy the next song is called you don't know me like that let me know let me know let me get to know you then quadeca And you never will But you don't know me like that And you never will
song I make it look effortless Start feeling some type of way, bro. You gotta, you gotta chill. You gotta chill, Kwadaka, bro. You gotta chill. I don't know about you guys, but bro, when that track started, I started to heat up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. It, uh, just me. Next song is called "Way Too Many Friends." song i wish i could relate to more it'd probably be that one next song is called guess who it's given um you know the super seniors and the freshmen yeah it's guess who guess who watch they into the video how to go through the back guess who and then Yeah, true, 
Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Heard of the done? Yes, you. How about this one? Here's the next clue. Okay. Looking so tall next to all of those odds. I bet two. Tell me who? who's that one in the middle of the who? night in your head that you never slept through? Yeah. Huh. Guess who just walked in the bed of my options, reeling my confidence fit. Brand new collection, it cost me a killing it, tucking it, killing it, cost me to make. Mm. Last time we built, and I popped down the ceiling and made it a little space. I'm trying to knock off the pins, my drop box made living that shit a hospitable place. Ah, ah, okay, I just walked in, now you caught in the act. Ah, ah, okay, don't even care how you wanna react. Ah, ah, okay. I think it's a choice because I'm walking in back. Ah, okay. I'm missing the point, like it's not even that. Yeah, I think I change a lot, but I promise I'm not. Even if the browser double takes out my ID, because I'm too away before I even turn 19. Get a mob at the in and out in a dry clean, dropping tapes like I couldn't figure out a crime scene. My career fucking weird, can't even define me. But it's scared still here, they said I was naive. Ladies were pushing buttons, but never rewind me. Because they couldn't tell a masterpiece from a title. Bro, he, he is spinning, bro. <laughs> talking his <laughs> shit. <laughs> talking his <laughs> ish. Never backed out of my plans. Like I'm maxed out my fans. It was her turn and lied to me, but she just passed out at the chance. I can't be mad about a couple of ends. Okay. Okay. Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? It's me. Guess who? Guess who? It's me. It's me. It's me, nigga. My bad. My fault. My fault. That was crazy. That was wild. Um, next song is called Under My Skin. It's already taking me, bro. Yep, it's on the playlist. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's on the playlist. <laughs> it's, it's on a... just me but the core progression like i swear just reminded me of scott street like the end of scott street by phoebe bridgers i just got a little i don't know To me. I'll be there in spirit. I'll be there in spirit. Okay. There's a song that belongs to you if you care to hear it. If you find me under your skin again, maybe we could be friends. Maybe that'll make too much sense. Those eyes are done. You're still incensed. So why would you come to me right after I built a fence? Mm. If I hide you under my skin again. Why would you come to me right after I put up a fence? It's doing way more than hitting me right now. It's taking, it's literally just taking me. It's taking control of me. I don't know what I'm going to do after I listen to this album. After this album is over, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably actually just going to sit and meditate and just think. Because this, bro. The next song is called Being Yourself. I want to change. I want to change. 
What is even happening, bro? What? <laughs> bro, he, he gives us the message, bro. He delivers us the message, and then he just decides to let everything just snap. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my god. What the heck, bro? What are you doing to me, man? What are you doing to me? All right, you guys. Next song is called "You Tried That Thing Where You're Human." That is a very, very meaningful song title. To give up on being human. It's time to give up on being human. Sounds really different, huh? It's time to give up Like a really good different It's time to give up on It's time to give up Oh my god, bro. It's time to give up. This is giving me like heavy black country new world vibe, bro.
You tried, you tried, now you're done. something else with you bro like let's just let's just change right now bro let's just let's just bro we just gotta turn into something bro i don't know what it is but you're right bro don't be a human bro i'm done with this bro i, I can't i can't like i can't take i i i i i i i, I, I can't <laughs> that might take the cake for the most beautiful outro to a song i have genuinely ever heard in my entire life bro in these entire past 18 years the song was already on this crazy extraterrestrial vibe bro I don't even, that just took it to like, what, where, what are we doing? Like, what are we actually doing, bro? That just, bro, that just took me to somewhere beyond this world, bro. Beyond our solar system, beyond this galaxy, bro. Beyond this life, like, beyond existence in general. Like, I can't. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, that was the outro of all song outros ever to exist. Second to last song is called Guide Dog. I'll walk you, guide dog to you. I, if I could, I would trade you my eye. Cause you should see you with the clearness of mine. Mm. Talk to him. To be guide dog. Not the violin, bro. I can't. I can't. You know how I get, bro. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Yes, bro. With all my heart, I trust you. 
I do. This last song is called Texas Blue. I feel like I just started and just like that, we're done. Or almost done, bro. Let's get through Texas Blue. Featuring Kevin Abstract. I've been meaning to um check out a Kevin Abstract album in a very, very, very near future. So it's nice to see him on. It's nice to see him featured on this project. New pair of dreams. We burned it all up. Ash on the sheets. You're making me suffer. What will it take to slow you down? Oh. That silent treatment gets a little loud. Surround sound. Surround sound. Bro, the, the, the background vocals are doing things to me, bro. Inexplainable things. Such a great outro, bro. Such a great outro, bro. And that is a understatement, bro. Anything I say will be understatement. Amazing, beautiful. And that's Scrapyard, bro. I feel like I just grew like such a strong connection to Quadeca's crap, bro. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, this felt so like. This felt so like vulnerable and personal, bro. Just listening to all the songs all the way through, just listening to this whole project, it just felt so like, 
like heartfelt like like he really truly cared about what he was writing down during the making of this what he was like what the beats were sounding like during the making of this bro how he was going to say all of this stuff out loud on songs during the making of this like it's like it seemed so beautifully perfectly crapped out in like terms of what he was going for just looking at this right now i feel like this is incredibly underrated there is so much talent not even sprinkled through this album it is just popping out it is popping out so clear as you're listening to the songs like you hear it in track one and it's just it just gets more and more and more apparent as you're going through the album if there's anybody that is still like completely discredited him or just acting like it's just weird for people to bring him up when it comes to terms of music i will look at them like they are the most insane person on this planet actually i probably wouldn't the first thing that would come in my mouth is what is the last thing you heard from quadek and i think it would be very like that would give you my answer of why this person is thinking what they're thinking you know what i'm saying i thank you all so much for recommending me this bro my friend on um ig bro i appreciate you i appreciate all you guys so much like oh my gosh oh my gosh this is probably the most the, like the closest i felt to an album this entire year i'm not gonna lie it, it has to be it literally has to be bro this is like the same type of feeling i got listening to um ants up there um by black country new world but it just feels so like they just hit you and it's like the lyrics are so ooh, bro they're so profound they're so like i don't see how you can listen to it and not feel it like you can't just feel what he's saying and like the last couple songs too really reminded me of um black country new world i think it was guide dog and um you try that thing where you're human i feel like those those felt like i don't i don't want to say they felt like tracks that could have been off of and from up there or their other album i want to say it's as if like quadeca had a feature on like a black country new world album and it was just his whole his own thing you know what i'm saying like i would be beyond proud of this if i was him like this this is amazing this is amazing i'd be sitting on this album for a while like oh my, like i i just made a complete masterpiece like it's gonna take me a while to be able to top something like this if i was him like i feel like i also got little hints of like jpeg mafia in the way he was rapping and his flows and also call me if you get lost production some i don't know i was reminded of that like mostly in the first half of the album is it's what really brought my mind to call me if you get lost production but i think it was just the fact that like these beats are they're stellar bro they're beautiful i was not expecting this at all like nothing and when i say nothing i mean nothing could have prepared me for what was going to go down with this bro i don't think quadeca himself could have walked in here in my room and told me himself that this album was going to really open my eyes really 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 open my eyes to him i don't know how to describe it it was just it just felt so like just quadeca like when i listen to this i don't really like i i kind of get reminded of other things i've listened to but this feels like like him asserting himself as Quadeca as an artist. This might be an insane take, but I feel like what Blonde is to Frank Ocean is kind of like what Scrapyard is to Quadeca. In terms of like material that the album holds and to sound overall, it's just like this is literally the best I've ever heard Quadeca. And I will be so, so, so grateful to hear what more he has to come after this. If there is something coming after this because like i said if, if i made this i would be sitting on this for a while like this this is so this is just so beautiful bro i love this album so much more than i thought i was going to going into this and now i know i will never underestimate quadeca in his capabilities ever again ever again quadeca bro everything you were saying on here everything that came out of your mouth bro i feel you I hear you and I love you. I do. As you guys can see, picking favorites might be a little bit out of the equation. But you know, if I had to, then I'd probably say uh, easier was crazy. Pretty privilege was insane. You try that thing where you human. I love that, bro. That has to have the greatest outro of a song I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, 
no jokes no no nothing bro all seriousness i really appreciate you guys watching and listening with me if you guys did enjoy at any point in time it would be greatly appreciated if you drop a like on the video it does really support the channel and if you're not subscribed then i would really 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 be so grateful if you subscribe because if you don't if you don't and you click off this video and you don't have notice on you're not subbed <laughs> This could be the last time that we lock eyes. This could be the last time that I'm sharing my voice with you, that we are having a civilized interaction. I don't want that, bro. I don't want that, bro. I don't want that. So please subscribe. We can be locked in forever. For L. But yeah, it's been real. I love y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Stay smooth, stay solo, stay blessed. And I already said I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. I messed up my outro once again.